sir. the ocean to become one by the border of this constant limit of the world. Now these borders may your love be constant, flowing and ever-changing. May your love forever redefine itself. May your love hold within it the essence of life. Pledging your lives and love to one another for all the things that remain for us. You acknowledge the change in your existence and you celebrate your commitment. So strong, aware, religious. May your love touch and enrich all those with whom you come in contact as these waters touch and nourish the many shores of this earth. Family and friends, Nathan and Rachel invite us here today to share the celebration of their marriage, their wedding. We come together not to mark the start of a relationship, but to recognize a bond that already exists. This marriage is one expression of the many varieties of love. Love is one, though it's it is fitting to speak briefly about love. We live in a world of joy and fear in search of the meaning of strength and the same of disorder. We discover the truest guidelines for our quest to realize love in all its magnitude. Love is the eternal force of life. Love is the force that allows us to face fear and uncertainty with courage. But you must be of love a little more careful than of anything. Giving up yourself in love is difficult. You must learn to give your love without hope and submission to yourself. If you your giving, give your joy, your sadness, your interest, your understanding, your knowledge, all expressions that make up life. But in this giving, remember to preserve yourself, your integrity, individuality. This is the challenge of love. We are gathered here in the presence of this country to join Nathan and Rachel in matrimony. Matrimony, as you know, is most sacred, most serious, that it will bind the two of you together for life. In a relationship so close and so intimate, that it profoundly influences your entire future. That future with its hopes and disappointments, its successes and its failures, its pleasures and its pains are hidden from your eyes. You know these elements are mingled in every life and so must be expected of your own. Yet not knowing what the future holds, you take each other, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health. Truly then, this is a most serious occasion. However, it is a beautiful tribute to your undoubted faith to each other, that realizing the full meaning of your vows, you are nevertheless so ready and willing to pronounce them. And because the words involve such solemn obligations, it is most fitting to express the security of your wedded life upon the principle of self-sacrifice. So you begin your married life by the voluntary surrender of your individual lives. In the interest of that deeper and wider life, which you are to share together with you. Henceforth, you belong entirely to each other. To be one in mind, one in heart, one in affection. And whatever sacrifices you should hereafter be required to make to preserve this mutual life, always make them generous. Because sacrifice is usually difficult to purchase. Only love can make it easy. Perfect love can make it enjoy. When the love is perfect, the sacrifice is perfect. Your greater blessings will come to you in every life and love that is true and loyal. May that this love that you join in your hands and hearts today never fail to go deeper and more meaningful as the years go by. And when true love and the unselfish spirit of perfect sacrifice guide your every act, you may expect the greatest measure of earthly happiness. There may be a lot of you in the marriage of love. Nathan, Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. Good marriage must be created. The art of marriage, the little things, the big thing. It's never being cool to hold hands. Because you remember to say I love you at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry. It's in no time taking the other for granted. Courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue for all the years. 
is having a mutual sets of values and common objectives. It is standing together, facing the world. It is doing things for each other, not the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but despair and joy. It is speaking words of appreciation, demonstrating gratitude in a way. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, but being the right partner. At the end of this ceremony, leave will be husband and wife. You still must decide each and every day the structure before you that you want to be married. Make such a decision to keep on making it. For the most important thing in life is to love and to be loved. The vows which are about to exchange serve as a verbal representation of that love you pledge for each other. It's not the words that you will speak here today that will bond you together as one. But the inner sense of love and each of you in your soul. Nathan, you take Rachel to be your wedded wife. Do you love her, comfort her, honor her, respect her? We share all life has to offer your hopes and dreams, your achievements and disappointments with her from this day forward. I do. Rachel, they, they can be your wedded husband. Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, respect him? Will you share all life has to offer your hopes and dreams, your achievements and disappointments with him from this day forward? Thank you. Rachel, a wedding ring is an unbroken circle. It symbolizes unending and everlasting love and is a visible symbol which represents your inner commitment to one another. May your lives together be blessed with everlasting happiness. Faith, and grace is right on our faith and repeat after me. As I place this ring, as I place this ring on your hand, on your hand, in my separate lives. May our separate lives become one. Become one. As we commit. And as we commit our everlasting love. Our everlasting love to each other. To each other. As I place this ring upon your hand. May our separate lives become one. As we commit our everlasting love. As by these rings and vows, you symbolize your marriage bond. May their meaning sink into your hearts and bind your life together by devotion and faithfulness to one another. May peace ever dwell within your home, contentment, love, and joy within your hearts. Now you will feel no rain for each of you will be a shelter for the other. Now you will feel no cold for each of you will be the warmth for the other. Now you will feel no loneliness. For each you be the companion to the other. Now you are two bodies, but there is one life before you. Go now and enter the days of your life together. And may your days be good and long upon this earth. So with the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, we hereby pronounce you husband and wife and make this your rise. Right.